Hey guys, this is gonna be my last journal entry for my alternative journal task, which is due tomorrow. Um, and this is my last sort of video, which I'm just gonna to use to round off a few things for my own sake. Um, these videos have been a really interesting, a really interesting undertaking because it's, it's given me something physical to map my progress um, and also to sort of see some co sort of habits that I have and some habits that are emerging. Well, what was interesting in watching a few of the videos, I'm going to watch the rest of them soon um, altogether, but in watching some of them over the past couple of weeks, I realized that I had a couple of, a, a few annoying habits, which I've been endeavoring to change. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll get a, uh, I'll, <laughs> it'll be interesting watching most of them um, later on. Um, and for a fact, I know the first one, in the first one, I say Victorian College of the Arts like five times. And I'm so sorry <laughs> for saying that because it makes me sound like such a prissy little wanker. <clears throat> so in, uh, in my usual style, um, I'll now discuss what happened in my day. Well, what happened in my day? We got some feedback from for our group performances my uh the the feedback we received as a group from other groups was uh mixed but largely um a lot of people were were quite um were were quite fascinated by the choices that we made and and definitely responded to to moments within the piece and uh a lot of people seem to like the idea. Um, the final scene, I think, boded quite well with people. And it was definitely something different for me to try. And I really liked it. Um, however, the feedback we received from Robert was airing sli slightly on the negative side. But not in a sort of, like, oh my god, I'm like super upset and hates me sort of... Thing, but it's, it was more that he found that the form that we adopted was a little stifling and a little strict and we didn't look like we were very free on stage and were very centered on this structure that we had of moving along to each, each position, position and not developing these characters, um, organically. Maybe I'm not sure if if that's what he said, I don't think that's what he said, but he found that some of the, some of the moments were just a little bit too strict. And, and I think, uh, I think, I think he was right. I, you know, in, in talking in reflection with it in, in reflection, I, I, I do agree that maybe the idea was a little bit beyond us for the period of the time period that we had. Uh, perhaps it would have made more sense to stick to our original idea, but I think it's I'm on the fence about it because I think the idea has some some value if we had more time because I we we were discovering things about it up until our performance which might not have been ideal so maybe it would have been better for us to to put that one away so it's a great learning curve and I think as Liz put it um, this afternoon when you receive um, negative feedback it can be have it can give you more drive to to get it, get it right maybe not but to to try to to uh try to not do that next time because it, you you know that it didn't work so it was um it was it was interesting it was interesting to see the contrast between um my lecturer robert feedback and my peers so that was that was definitely a very interesting interesting part of my day and something which I, I'm still currently reflecting on and digesting. Now, um, with these videos, I'm going to continue making a blog, not every single day, but maybe once a week. And I think I'm going to lift the one minute time limit I put on myself because I'm starting to realize that it's not necessarily the amount of time that I have to talk, which is important, though it's a, it's a great it's a great sort of uh, thing to put upon yourself. I think for me, it's more about 
thinking more considerately about what I have to say and then saying it. And I found that I've started doing this a little bit more in class. I'm not necessarily stick out my hand and, 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 and blurting that I have something great to say because I know sometimes I, I do that. Um, I put up my hand and I'll say something and it might, it might mean something, but I, I, I don't necessarily think it's, um, it has any value. So I think these, these videos have already captured something really important for me, which is being more considerate and, and, and be more considerate and, um, and, uh, it, 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 it more considerate in the way that I think. So then I can say what I want to say and articulate it uh, more concisely as opposed to putting up my hand and then working through. So I don't necessarily need to p take everyone on that process of me working through it. I think sometimes I just need to think about it and then give the idea across and, and see what people, people think. So these videos have been really interesting because I've, I've now come to observation that I do like how I think and I'm very, I'm becoming more open to changing how I think. Um, yeah, these past couple of weeks have, have definitely revealed a few things about myself. I, I feel a lot freer. Um, I feel a lot lighter at times because I'm, I'm not trying, um, I'm not trying as hard or I'm, 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 I'm trying to listen a lot more and it's something that I, I keep on trying to emphasize for myself being a better listener and, and, and listening to what people have to say and, 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 and being active when I listen, not just standing there and nodding my head. So it's something I need to work on. There are other habits that I need to work on as well. Um, those ones are personal ones and there, there are other habits which perhaps I'm, I have, I, I believe that I have more of a choice over which is something that I've never, ever considered. Usually I think a habit needs to be changed straight away. And I, but there are some things that I do that I, I think are unique to me. And I think that's something that I'm starting to realize more and more as well is that I'm a young man, I'm a young person, um, and I'm just trying to figure things out. I think this course gives you an opportunity to, uh, to ask you all these great questions to, to, to really provoke that sort of thought. But sometimes when I get all tense and emotional and upset, it's, it sometimes comes back to the fact that I am just a human and these things make me a little bit tense and upset sometimes because I am young. Yeah. Um, but in regards to this course, I think it's definitely one of the, the best things that I could have ever done because I'm now starting to appreciate what it's like to be an actor, what I have to do to be an actor. And I think I've always been, I've always been ashamed of wanting to do this with my life. And thank God, I don't know why, but somehow I had some kick in the bum. Maybe it was to prove to people or prove to myself that I could do it. Thank God I had a kick in the bum to audition and, and, and to try and get in and I, I'm, I'm in. And, you know, it's only hitting me now that I'm in this, this place. Um, and I am, I am so grateful. And I'm also starting to realize that I need to approach this more professionally and to try harder and to, to work harder and let there be a, a, a sort of a blue collar nature to have blue collar nature to how I approach my work to really just push through. Um, so yeah, I think that's a really fantastic little thing that I've observed. But anyway, I am absolutely rambling um, and I have chocolate Bavarian waiting for me. So I just want to say that I'll be continuing these and thank you so much for watching them if you've watched them. And uh, I hope that you'll enjoy the videos to come.